This is Barnstable today for Tuesday, February 10th. Welcome aboard. I'm Mark Mumford. And please keep in mind that the meetings we cover are available on demand at the town's website, town.barnstable.ma.us. The Hilton Garden Inn proposed for Route 28 in Hyannis is our focus today. Thanks for joining us. I'm Kevin Friel. The five-story, 130-plus room facility would be within blocks of the Barnstable Municipal Airport. At last night's session of the Planning Board, Transportation Engineer Glenn Cannon from the Cape Cod Commission outlined a traffic report he prepared for the board. I do want to state that there wasn't a traffic study submitted by the applicant, which is the normal procedure. Um, based on that, though, I did generate a, a trip generation report for the, for the applicant's project. Um, that's on page two of our letter. Um, I based it on a hotel use. I think the applicants, he did submit a one-page report outlining the trip generation. He had indicated it would be a, uh, a business hotel. Um, I disagreed with that view. Um, my view is that Cape Cod is a uh, tourist destination. Um, it should be viewed as a hotel. A hotel would accommodate both business users and the, and the tourists. Um, if you look on the page two, there's a table there, trip generation comparison. Um, the average daily traffic of over 1,000 trips, um, 80 afternoon peak hour trips, you know, 1,226 Saturday daily trips, and 99 Saturday midday peak hour trips. Those are all significant traffic uh, periods, um, whether it's the daily or the peak hours. Generally, in the transportation world, we look at the peak hours of impact and how the impact it is on the roadway. Um, again, those are all significant traffic generations. As far as the site access, um, I did have a chance to look at their site plan. The only thing that I saw of concern um, for myself, and I, I should I say I do like to distinguish between the site plan and the roadway network. Uh, my role at the Cape Cod Commission is I review the projects once they hit the roadway network. Um, that's where we have the authority to impose regulations on applicants. I generally leave the site plan work to the site plan review, the planning board, um, because you have that authority to make changes onto the site plan. Um, so I have not taken an in-depth look at the site plan. I just want to make you aware of that. I've started at the roadway and worked my way out. Um, but with that said, I did look at their Route 28 driveway. It did look to me that it was not um, laid out or designed to Mass Highway standards. Um, so I would ask you to take a closer look at that. Planning Board member Dave Munsell challenged some of Cannon's findings. Right. Now, does the Commission ever do a study after a building is pr uh, built um, and just check on their figures? Because I remember BJ's that the long period of time it took and the traffic studies they did and the warnings that all those people got on as far as the traffic it would create. And finally it got uh, passed. And, gee, I travel that stretch daily and sometimes more than daily, and I have never seen it anything like your projections were. If I could. Um, let's, 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 if we could just stick with the Well, we're just trying to find, I'm just trying to determine yeah. the credibility of uh, uh, the report, too. Yeah, I'll give you a couple things. Um, yes, we have done studies after developments have been in operation for some time. Normally we look for some period of buildup, uh, maybe six months for that that development to get online um, and become accustomed to their patrons. Uh, and then we go back and look at it. Uh, I would say with the BJ's project, a part of that, the majority of the project, right, wasn't so much Attics Lane, because if you can recall, Attics Lane doesn't have much development on it at all at this time. Um, the majority of the problems with BJ's was along Route 132, which the 132 project addressed. Right. Um, and our concern was that the 132 project wasn't moving forward. And, and to go back on the record, the BJ's, the money, the mitigation money from BJ's came to the town of Bonstable so they could move that project forward with the design and such it could be constructed. Uh, without the BJ's mitigation money, they may not be a Route 132 project today. Yeah. Um, so they, you know, they go hand in hand. Joanne Buntage, Interim Director of Growth Management for the town, anchored a computer presentation on the project under the heading of a massing study. The um, view, this is put together in a typically... Um, intentionally very simplified version. Um, that's what a massing study would typically look like. It's not meant to be um, a, a representation of uh, exactly what's on the ground today. A massing study just deals with architectural forms and their, and their simplest aspects. So this would be the view looking north up um, Brookshire Road under existing conditions. Um, Um, 
there i'm sorry this would be the same view with the fifty plus foot hotel in place the this line right here is the line that shows the allowed height in the district which is forty feet and then we can see what the structure would look like at the allowed height and the next is sort of a little simulation of driving west on route twenty eight under existing conditions and then under proposed conditions and so that's a massing study there's one other visual that was provided by commission staff and this is a little this is based on I can never find full screen my apologies probably missing it here someplace Brookshire Road resident John Doherty whose house would abut the project spoke out against it being vested interests in this project it's true this project right behind my house I have concerns with my quality of life but I'm also against this project just because of the quality of life the safety of the area and the future of the town much more information is needed to go any further with this project and then so much relief is needed and I think the earliest date I've seen a report or a our application of this was August of last year and none of the relief issues have been resolved yet for a project to be looked at so extensively and at this point no no risk no resolve of any relief has been found I'm asking you again to just stop looking at a project that is so far from the zoning from setbacks all the reliefs needed again the privacy issue of my neighborhood the safety issues of the setbacks off the road if a project like this goes in you shouldn't at least guarantee me the 20 feet relief in the back the 20 buffer zonings that allow hotels they're supposed to be a 20 foot landscape buffer around the entire project only broken by the driveways is how it's stated there's none of this anywhere in this project at least protect the neighborhood safety wise again developer Stu Bornstein told the planning board that the Cape Cod Commission traffic report does not accurately represent the potential impact of the Hilton Garden in project we don't have that kind of traffic we have hotels now that don't generate anywhere near the traffic that they're suggesting we know what our traffic usage is and again 40 percent of our traffic in our hotels are bus tours and I don't think that particular study even took anywhere near it now our year-round occupancy rate runs about 52 percent that means for about 90 days we're going to have one or two buses in that hotel a day one or two buses it isn't a question of a train going every hour every half hour they leave in the morning they come back at night our traffic is minimum there's a lot of discussion left in regard to the Hilton Garden in proposal it will be on the agenda at the planning board subcommittee meeting set for 430 on February 17th and please be aware that you can watch the planning board meetings on demand at the town's website town.barnstable.ma.us on the meeting scheduled this evening an initial budget presentation with the school committee in the hearing room at six o'clock thanks for joining us today I'm Kevin Friel we'll meet you right back here tomorrow I'm Mark Mumford